hello and welcome to my channel today's uh, video is going to be a really short video uh, where we're going to talk more about uh, libraries in adobe illustrator let me just remove everything else here i'm going to go to windows and okay if you cannot see these libraries over here just go to windows libraries how do i use the library so it's pretty simple library is kind of well a library where you store things and you can take them out of the shelf whenever you want it you can store your colors color themes all your graphics these graphics what i have right here are nothing but the images that i captured using my adobe capture app i'm gonna do a separate video on how to use that app and these things are nothing but um, uh, mockups, uh, which you get as uh, free. Uh, you know, you can download ten images for free, and there are a few mockups that you get for free from your Creative Studio over here. Uh, if you go in here and say, uh, you know, assets, and then you have, uh, you get some freebies, and these are nothing but that. For example, this is a demo version so uh, it's something like this so i just put it in here because i wanted to see how it looks like because if i if it looks good i thought i can go ahead and buy this so these things uh you can actually see under graphics so if you don't know uh if you click on this it goes like this and if you click back uh it expands and then if all these things even the brushes and patterns these brushes and patterns are actually Photoshop brushes and patterns. Uh, that's the reason you cannot see them over here. But if you go to your Photoshop app and then if you go to your libraries, for example, like this, uh, you can actually um, let me just remove everything else because this is like too crowded over there. Yeah, this should be fine. So now you can see all the patterns that I have captured. For example, this one, all you have to do is click and then, you know, drag them and then you can see it right over here. Cancel this. I'll go back to my illustrator. So coming back here. So this is what patterns are. I wanted to show you guys about the uh, different fonts that we get for free from Adobe because of the Adobe subscription. For example, if I click on the text box and I click somewhere and I get some text here. And now if you go ahead here. You can see that this is Myriad Pro. I think that's how it's pronounced. What I can do is I can say add fonts from Typekit. If I click on this, it should directly take me to the link, but for some reason it's not working for me, but that's fine. Uh, you can just go to this link. I'm gonna put this link in the description as well. So once you get to this link, uh, you can just type in anything you want here. So I've just given it as bring me some color. Let me make this Kips. So you can see different kind of fonts over here. This site has both free and paid fonts. You can sell like whatever kind you want, like, uh, you know, the thicker, thinner version or whatever. You just have to click on this. And then uh, you have different kinds of fonts over here. So I've already added this to my font list, so it's showing me something else. Apparently, this is something which I don't have. That's why it says sync. All I have to do is click on sync. It says the font is sync. Let's go check. I'm just going to go ahead. Now, I've clicked on my this one. I'm just going to go here. Now, you have a button called TK. This is all the fonts that you have on your system right now. But if you click on TK, these are the fonts that you have actually downloaded from the Adobe Type Kit. You can just go to, this is what I chose so i'm just going to click on that and then probably put it 72 so that you can see it that is how you sync fonts from the top kit and uh, that's how you can get really awesome fonts from adobe for free so now i'll teach you how to get these um color palettes from the adobe site onto your uh, library so that you can use them with anything that you do for example I draw a square I say I want something from this but so I just click on that and voila that's the color over there just go to the color.adobe.com uh, I'll just leave the link below uh, in the description 
you have to be signed in to save anything to your library. Once you have signed in and you can look at all the different parts of your, I know it's overwhelming if you're looking for something specific like, yeah, that's not me. I'm not a cute pink kind of a person, but sometimes, you know, you need a cute pink. Anyway, so you are here and you have all these different palettes which are sailed by users. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll, scroll, scroll or I'm going to go here and I see that there are 35 views, 17 likes. Okay, this seems very nice. I'm just going to click on that and then go ahead and click on save to library. So now if you have only one library, then you don't have to worry about this part. But if you have a lot of libraries, then probably you need to worry about that and select the right one. Like, you know, you might have library one where you're working on a project, which is like with a certain client, but library two is for some other client. You don't want to mix them up. But anyway, if it's just for fun, you, it doesn't matter where you save it. I'm just going to click on my library. Did it get saved? Yeah. Okay. My library. You can name your theme. You can give your own name whatever you want but I'm just gonna put it like this and you can select this or not it's up to you but it's a duplicate because it's not your original so it's already there in the Explorer so I'm just gonna leave it unchecked and say save so that's done now you head back to your illustrator and you see that it's not synced that's because you have a little cloud right here it says all libraries are up to date uh uh it's not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click see them and there you have your pink nice isn't it let me color this nice pinky pink okay that looks good so i'm going to make another box here and color this another pink okay i don't need that this is how you use your color palette and then coming down to graphics. So like I told you, I use my Adobe Capture a lot to capture patterns or to, to transfer my drawings into an illustrator without having too much of a trouble. So all I have to do is click and drag and then I'll have this um, thing all nice and shaped up. So I'm gonna do a separate video on um, how to use Adobe Capture with Illustrator as well as Photoshop, probably next week. So until then, um, you can kind of try to explore it on your own or wait for my video. I'm gonna leave a link to the Adobe Capture app as well so that you can try it out. So today, what did we do? Um, we talked about libraries, how to get colors, uh, what are the different things which are available in the libraries and how to create new libraries and how to differentiate, how to sync your Adobe color and palettes and your uh, personal libraries. We also talked about text, how to get uh, different kind of fonts from Adobe Typekit. This is all this video is gonna be about, but yeah, lots of lots of links down in the description to go check it out. and. Uh, let me know what you learned.